Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Gameplay Color, which is a Game Boy emulator for iOS, as well as getting it set up, in this episode of Anton Retro. Gameplay Color captures the Game Boy and Game Boy Color as close as possible, on an iOS device. The frame rate is solid, the music is great, and the buttons, although are fake, don't deliver any sort of input delay, even when playing it on a small device. The emulator has a couple of settings, such as the color and speed, though it barely comes in handy, because the emulator always sustains a steady frame rate, even when you're out and about and disconnected to Wi-Fi. Anyway, now I'm going to show you how to download the emulator. So the first thing you'll need to do is go down to the description of the video and click the link that says Gameplay Color. So you'll be taken to this page and all you're going to do is press play now. Of course you can also read some of the things about the emulator, but just, just click uh, play now. Next you're going to be taken to this page, so we're going to do the steps now. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to the share icon in the upper right corner and press add to home screen. Now you can name it anything you want, but I'm just going to press add. Now as you can see we have it on our home screen and we're just going to go and click it. So here you're going to now press sign in because we need to get the enter access code. So just use your Gmail or email, whatever, and sign in, and you'll get a code. Copy it, and paste it into here. Once you've done that, you can then press continue, and then of course, we have everything set up. But anyway, how to get games is that you get a ROM from a website or whatever you have it. As you know, I cannot provide the link. So, of course, just do a quick Google search and you'll probably find it, and then put it into your Google Drive. It's as simple as that. Just make sure it ends in GB. But now, as you can see, I have box art. So, you, yours will not have that. So, what we'll need to do is you can go to the link in the description that says GB Label Art, and you can download a pack that I will always keep updating. So, there'll be new ones. And just make sure that the name of the game is the same as the label art's name. Just make sure it ends in JPG. And also make sure that the labels are in the root of your drive and not in the Game Boy label art folder. In case I have not done the game yet, what you can do is just do a quick Google search and find the game cartridge. So then what you're going to do is just save the image to your photo gallery or whatever. And then what you need to do is crop the label. So you don't want to make sure that this side out and of course the code and Made in Japan is in the cropped image. So just like that we have the image. So what you're going to do now is go to um, different filters or whatever and try to make it look really authentic and new. So you can up the saturation a bit and maybe change the brightness and light just to make it look a little bit more presentable. Once you're finished with that, you can now upload it to Google Drive. Just make sure you name it the name of your game that you have. For example, it's Kid Icarus, and we're going to name it just, just Kid Icarus, and then make sure that JPG is at the end. And once you've done that, everything should be fine. Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, because I have a lot of content coming to the channel. Anyway, see you next time, goodbye! And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment box down below, and I'll make sure to answer them as soon as possible.